Western Heights is probably one of the, the less affluent areas in Rotorua. We believe it's vital to nurture the, the whole child, their sense of self-worth, their emotional and physical and social well-being. Marena tamariki ma, kia ora, my name is Terangi. And we will now start with our karakia. They use a tifari type of far model, so the four walls, and they sort of, um, one of the big things I noticed that they did was they used their community more and they really focused on community engagement and looking at what the health and wellbeing issues were. They realised that they really needed to work on their, their school lunches and they involved the Heart Foundation and got them on board to, to help them with revamping their lunch orders and lunch menu and, and putting a policy in place to, to ensure that you know healthy food is encouraged at the school. People used to bring fizzy drinks and stuff like that to school. We don't have that anymore. And it was a huge job to find the appropriate food and stuff that was nice because we had to get the children to eat it. The whole of the lunch order is still to this day with heart ticks on it. The junior playground and the senior playground have been in place for quite some time and we thought if we're trying to encourage our children's um, fundamental physical skills that maybe we could add to it and it could be part of daily fitness. And then we also thought about other areas of physical health which was the school fitness program and sport. Um, we introduced lunchtime sport for all senior students. The other thing was, how were we going to teach these children to be lifelong learners and go into the community and be able to, you know, remain healthy and know about healthy food and how to grow it? We were lucky enough to obtain a grant from the Southern Trust and the new lunch area was completed at the end of 2015. It also provides a really great environmental education area as each class has their own planter box and they can choose whatever they'd like to grow, including crops to feed the skull, or just flowers to look pretty. We have a school leaders program, and that's allowing the children to have a voice, because in a primary school you don't have a child on the board. And um, so they're able to bring about what the children are wanting. Being in a school where students are asked to have responsibilities is pretty cool because everyone feels equal. We were looking at other ways that we could engage with our community and so we approached the Gardens Retirement Home and they were very receptive to us and said why don't you bring some groups of students down here to visit with the residents. Our students go down and, and read to the residents, have a conversation with them. They might have morning tea down there and um, then come back to school. A moan dog, I hate to be a lone dog. We've also put a lot of programs in place in our junior school to address oral language vocabulary. And what's been really pleasing is at the end of last year, 94% of our year sixes were at above the national standard in reading and 89% of um, the year sixes were at or above in writing. Um, I believe that change is really difficult and not lots of people like change. So you have to do things slowly and you can't eat an elephant in just one bite. Hopefully they'll go on and become good citizens and have happy, healthy lives and be productive because that's what we're wanting from our children from here at Aurangi.